Go to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza, as we do each and every other Monday. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction.com. Many of us trade these Direction shares each and every day. And, of course, when the volatility goes up, uh, bottom line, volatility is a better, trader's best friend. There's no doubt about that. Now, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you just hit that banner. You'll be able to bring the, the Direction um, website up. And uh, the bottom line is it depends on what your flavor is uh, out here today uh, as to what you'd like to trade. Dave Mazda, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I'm uh, watching these, uh, this market action just like you are. There, there is no doubt. And <laughs> you know it's wild. And I mean, you know, you guys being the sponsor of these ETFs, I'm sure you know it. Uh, we've seen the ebbs and flows, you know, like, but we've all been long for so long that it's kind of neat basically seeing a pullback. Well, you know, in general, I, I think it's kind of neat seeing a pullback, okay, in general, okay, because it gives you that many more opportunities inside of the marketplace. And, you know, like if we look at your small caps, not your small caps, Dave, but you know what I'm saying, um, you know, the, the bottom line is that, you know, you have the IWM down 420 right now, folks, and, you know, I know many of us between the TNA and the TZA, <laughs> um, it's, it gets popular then it, you know, you don't do it for a while. Then it gets popular again, and it's just—it's just funny. Now, so my question is, I've seen what I do myself, Dave, and it's really funny. You know, you don't trade a sector for like three or four months, and all of a sudden you jump on it again. So it's pretty cool to me when you have a day like this, because then you can kind of pick out like between oil, the small caps, gold. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter which side you're on, but now you really have some opportunities. Yeah, whether you're a long-term investor, you know, you have your buy list, or if you're a trader, you still kind of have your buy list, right? Or to your yes. point, kind of the, the funds that you're going to look at when the opportunities arise. So today, the volume we're seeing in TNA and, uh, and TZA is uh, off the charts, as you'd expect, uh, because the move has been so sharp. And frankly, it's on the back of a pretty sharp leg down in small caps to begin with, as we saw this rotation basically back to the mega cap growth stocks. Uh, over the last few weeks as interest rates have, you know, really collapsed. Uh, another area that we're seeing a lot of activity in is actually the bear side of our high beta product. So this fund is uh, a little bit smaller, a little less, a uh, little newer, a little less well-known. The ticker is HIBS. I know we've talked about the bull fund before, that's HIBL. But on a day where the highest beta stocks, uh, like your value names, your energy, your small caps are really getting hurt, Again, if you're taking the, the inverse of that, that fund's doing really well. So we're seeing that fund come out of nowhere. And that's really, I think, as you advocate for, one of the reasons why we offer so many funds is that some of them will go in and out of favor from a trading opportunity and why we will continue to kind of bring more to market uh, as, uh, as the opportunities rise. Now, this is really cool. HIBS. So inside this whole, so this is S&P 500, three times high beta bear. Oh, this is pretty cool. So... You're doing, and you have, and and you get, and then this thing's liquid. We've already done 645,000 shares right now. Yeah, so this is yeah. intriguing, right? Okay. Exactly. So again, not it's not as liquid as uh, the gold miners or semiconductors, but it's one of these funds that's, you know, uh, people have kind of begun to chip away at it on days like this. Yes. That's when that's when you want to be looking and saying, hey, what's a fund I haven't necessarily looked at or traded in a while. But the opportunity can really arise. So don't necessarily ignore funds that might be newer. To your point, you might not trade every day. You know, our, the financials, FAS and FAZ, certainly they see activity on a daily basis, inflows and outflows, depending upon what's happening in the market. But their volume essentially was pretty flat um, over, the, over the last year or so as other areas of the markets uh, like semis and tech and biotech uh, rallied. But now... Uh, you know, this, these moves in the banks, uh, particularly after putting up some decent earnings last week, has been pretty remarkable, mostly because of the, their impact on, on uh, long term interest rates. But that's a fund that Thursday, Friday into today um, has seen a lot of activity or people are kind of trying to play uh, the reversal of this, in my opinion. Yes, uh, that, that certainly may be coming. But that, that's where we're seeing traders take advantage of. And, you know, folks, Dave brought up a great point because J.P. Morgan, Citigroup, Morgan Stanley come out with phenomenal earnings, man. And they're all down. It's like, OK, so, you know, that says quite a bit about, you know, where interest rates are going. You know, what, what has been amazing here, Dave, is that the, the interest rate structure, like who would have thought? I mean, I, I've been bullish on it for a while. I, I sold in the last high. But the bottom line is it's amazing actually, when you actually look at this market. But guess what? The market's right again, man. <laughs> the, 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 the bottom line is that, you know, you get markets down, you get interest rates up.
you know? I mean, well, interest rates, higher price, lower yields, you know what I mean? Pretty amazing, man. No doubt. Yeah, and I think what's interesting is that lower rates were supporting the market for a long time, but it's yes. kind of a, a, this love-hate relationship that's now been built with rates is that the second we saw the test of 125 on the 10 and now dipping below that, that's now being viewed as a real negative. Um, with that being said, you know, uh, we'll see where this lands, but focus on the dollar uh, would be my recommendation uh, as, as well. That's a fact. And listen, folks, don't forget, every day, right on the front page of uh, uh, Direction, they have the creates and the redeems. Uh, and, and, you know, as they, it's really important to keep your eye on those. Dave, thank you so much. Have a great one, safe one. We look forward to having you on two weeks from today. Thank you. Talk soon. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.